One important part of the JSON API specification is the fact that there is a format for errors and <clears throat> the JSON API module respects that and catches all the exceptions and PHP errors and puts them in the expected format. So let's see how that looks like. Um, here I just made um, a request sorting in reverse order by the title property. Um, but what if we made a mistake and instead of title we typed titles and that doesn't exist so it's gonna uh, throw a query an entity query exception because it can't find that field to sort by so if we click send you'll see that uh, it implements the expected format which is errors an array and then an, an array of error objects and every error object contains a title status uh, and then a detail and a link with more info uh, you can see that the the status code is sent along, which is 500 in this case, uh, and that's yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Uh, you can see that uh, there are other places where you can trigger errors, like for instance, if you say page size minus one, right? Because that doesn't make sense. So it's gonna throw an error, and it's gonna say, oops. Oh, right. Gotta remove this one. Because that one was triggering. Yeah, it says by bad request. Um, the page size need to be a positive integer. So uh, that's how you how you will expect errors. So if there is a non two hundred or sorry an error request, you will see uh, this format in here that says uh, that the error was requested sorry that the error was produced um, <clears throat> so this is the the content that you get by default but if you uh, log in and get enough details and now I'm gonna log in as the admin so I'm using body auth to log in my to authenticate my request you see that you get more information about the error so I'm gonna making them the same request again and you see that apart from this which is what we had for the anonymous user we also get where this is in the in the code where this is happening in the code and uh, you get the the complete exception dump and then the stack trace so the file etc so if you have enough privilege in the request you can see why and where it failed so that is very, very useful for debug purposes. So that's basically it for, for the error format.